regressionist. I take people to past lives, to future lives, and we do quite a lot of healing during our sessions of releasing old patterns, symptoms, attachments. There's also another part to my sessions, and that is why I ask you to write down any questions that you would like to know, whether it be about work relationships, was your dog in a past life, what is this dream about that I keep having this reoccurring dream? Because you have all the records and the information that you need. All we need to do is to be able to tap into that. And that's where I assist. By asking simple questions and opening the doors. And allowing you to spiritually connect. Tap into that knowledge. To enable you to answer your own questions. In itself, I've got a couple of questions that I'd like to ask you while we're here. Gaia. Can you actually give me any information on that? What, what's happening with Gaia at this moment? She's elevating. Elevating, I see. And can we sense her vibration then? Yes, yeah, lighter vibration, lighter good vibration, high vibration. Mm -hmm. A sense of, uh, yeah, going upward and, uh, and expansion. So she's not necessarily leaving us then, she's actually ex expanding. Yes, there's no, there's no leaving, expansion, it's a transformation. Is this the shift that my client was talking about? Yes. Can I ask you a question about the regressions that my client does? She wants to know whether her friend was okay when she did the therapy on her. Who was with her then? There was many, there was many people, many beings helping session. Thank you. It was not the ideal, but it was finished correctly. And does, and does, my, client did, does, does my client need any more skill sets, or is she ready to go now? Uh, no. no, she can go. She's well accompanied and needs to call on ancestors and teams of light. She's fine. She's doing fine. So she's ready to start her business now. She's, she's prepared. She may step forward. I'll tell and her that. Use what tools are necessary. Yes, using what tools are necessary, and there's a sense of clarity and support. She has a big, comfortable support system that she can rest upon. Very good. Like a big, comfortable chair. Just keep following. She should continue on her path. She will find a solution. Okay. And can I ask about her dog, Duke? He seems very well yes, connected he with her. Has he worked with her before? Yes. Mm-hmm. And what's the purpose of Duke there? He's like an anchor. He's almost like uh, something that accompanies her, like a cloak. And an anchor, and is a beautiful accompaniment. She's getting the image of the, that um, on the shoulders. When you are well comforted, you have a warm cape. He's with. He protects. He protects her. Thank you. And accompanies her. Yes, it's a very beautiful. It's part of her identity, too. They're very intertwined, very connected. She did a session not so long ago. Um, but she wanted to know whether the entity did leave, or if not, should she go back? Yes. The entity left? Yes. Okay. There's, there's a sense that... There was an intervention, and the client is, there she could go back, but the entity has gone. She can go back and continue in a new healing, mm -hmm. and we will accompany her. I see, I'll be sure. Once to, again. I'll be sure to tell her that. She has this... Uh -huh. She, she's been enjoying Games of Thrones just lately, and she says it resonates with her. What's the reason for this? This is... This is, uh... Echoes from another time that are familiar, and not easy times, but glorious times, where she has lived, and where... She could sense the same harshness of life and yet the same 
her of borrowed time that brought her into lessons of learning that she can draw from in this lifetime. Lessons of tolerance, constancy, fortitude. Can I also ask you, inner self, I met my client in Barcelona um, about a year and a half ago, and we instantly um, hit it off. Have we had lives before? Yes. Describe those lives to me. They're having to do with the water. They are... She's getting images of... Uh like swimming and fish and community and yeah, beautiful, joyful people like more people. Time of um, community and joy. There was magic and the beauty of living within a, within a, within a harmony, within a, a supportive surrounding of the water, the oceans. The oceans are almost like a loving embrace, a living, loving being that supported you both. Did they live by the sea or in the sea? In the sea, in inside. It's very beautiful, but very golden, lots of reflections, peaceful, joyful, lots of movement, reflections, a very loving, harmonious lifetime together. That's what you're bringing here. Harmony, the beauty of community, Light, reflection, that, that system. You tell me, you say we lived in the water. What were we? Were we fish were, or were we something else? No, you were like a uh, lot of people, uh, beings of, of love, beings of light, beings in the water. You lived and raised in your environment, which was the water. You didn't know, you weren't separate from the water. You didn't know that you were such beings because you didn't have any context. But as you are now on Earth, you would look upon this life and say that you were real beings. Is there a message that you want to pass on to the client today? These sensations of freedom and release and liberty are to guide her, to guide the direction with which she moves forward. Releasing is good. The release of the entities are good. It's a physical way, but even looking at it as a figurative way, the release is also a motif. The message is not one message. It's more a push, a loving push, a loving, supportive, propelling, propulsion. Continue, and do as well, chain, continue, propelling forward, and using all of this light and beauty and reflections and journey, continue forward. Thank you very much.